What's going on guys? Today it's Chef here from the Hook of Tackle. Today I kind of want to do a fun style video and today we're going to be talking about five Japanese swim baits that you guys probably have never heard of. So if you guys are ready, let's get right into today's video. Welcome to the Hook of Tackle. The Hook of Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hook Up also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hook of Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hook Up for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Okay, so the very first bait that we're going to be talking about is a bait that I have fished before and I thought it actually swam way better than I thought it was going to. That is the Keisu the Raikiri. It's a glide bait made by a Japanese company called Keisu. I have some of their other handmade style wood swim baits and they're a pretty cool company. So when they first came out with this bait, it had a it had some features that I thought were actually really, really cool. And one of the biggest features was on the bait, you can actually change the weight system inside the chin. So they come with four sets of steel balls and then four sets of just kind of hollow ones that are red. So what you can do is you can mix and match these balls in here to weight the bait perfectly if you want something that's like a floater or if you want something that's super slow sink or a moderate or a fast sink you can start adding different weight underneath the chin here you can add weight to the chamber and it's going to make this bait either sink super slow float or fast sink whatever you want and i think that's super super sick so instead of having to go out and buy three different styles of glide base you can just get one change it out there on the water it's super simple there's just like a little cap here you peel that back get the balls out put the new ones in and you're good to go so the Raikiri is definitely a innovative style swim bait inside of the actual joint there are pads so instead of it's just being abs to abs you have a little pad in there so it's gonna soften the sound the hard hitting sound that abs will make underwater so it's going to just cushion the blow a little bit better. You have the stabilizer fins here in the back to allow this bait to glide effortlessly. I mean, this bait swims, even though it doesn't look like it swim that great, it honestly swims amazing in my opinion, especially if you guys are getting into swim baits. This bait is super, super easy to glide and swim. You can manipulate it really well. It's very, very fluid. So those stabilizer fins definitely help in the long run. So that is the Keisu Raikiri. You guys should definitely check this bait out. I love this one of these. We have quite a few different colors in them. Awesome, awesome bait. Now the next one that we're gonna be looking at is if you guys watch our What's New videos frequently, every Sunday we drop them at around like nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. One of the, I think like two What's News back, we did a kind of first look at, this is the Annie 175 made by Attic. It's a multi-jointed swim bait with a bill and it's a floater. So Japan has really been on that craze of really making baits that are pretty much like this. I mean, you look at like the Tiny Clash, Jackal just came out with one called the Blast Bone. And so they've been really making a lot of baits that are like this. And since it's a floater, you can work it up on top of the water, you can crank it, you can burn it. So it's an awesome, really lightweight bait. The tail gives off a pretty good kick. As you see, the tail can move pretty much 180 degrees. So that's gonna give just that little extra movement underwater. It's a definitely a cool looking style bait if you're into that Japanese lore. This is definitely a wake bait I would also have in my arsenal. Okay, so moving on, we have a, another hard bait and this is the Little Jack, the Gorgon. This is their bigger size, they make two sizes. They make the bigger size of 188 millimeter, and then they make a little 125 size. Definitely a very unique looking swim bait. I mean, it resembles an AU 
pretty much to a T. I mean, you even have the mouth agape. Definitely a very, very unique swim bait. It's even got like kind of a curved head. It's definitely extremely different, but the swim on it is pretty much what I'd say like, kind of like a ballum. It's a very natural S kind of snaking motion underwater since it is the three jointed swim bait. It sinks fairly slow, even with these giant hooks. So if you do use lighter hooks, it will most likely be a floater, but you can always just use some of those, those lead strips that I like to use that Zapu makes. You can just put them under the belly and under the chin and it's gonna make that bait sink. But right now, out of the package, this bait is gonna be like a slow sinking and it sinks just like this in the water where it kind of noses up, it sinks down. So when you kick it, it's ready to go. The Gorgon is definitely a bait that it looks really funny. It looks just odd as heck, but that's the Japanese lore. I mean, they make some cool, odd looking lures, but they work and this one swims really really good both the bigger size and the smaller size so that is the gorgon by little jack so moving on we're going to be looking at the jackal donkle it's pretty much a soft plastic paddle tail swim bait they come in a seven inch size as well as a bigger nine inch size now this bait we've had in shop for a while i'd seen it but i kind of just didn't really care for it because it looked kind of funny honestly going back to how the Japanese will make some funny looking swim baits, but this thing actually swims really, really good. Now I can, I kind of compared it to like the swim of a mag draft where there's some good head wobble, good tail kick. But the thing with the mag draft is you had to fish it fairly slow and like one speed for it to swim. The cool thing with the Dunkel is that the way that it is designed and weighted you can actually fish this bait fairly fast, way faster than you can a mag draft without this bait blowing out and going all crazy on you. So it has the same features, the same style of swim as a mag draft, but you can fish it a lot faster. And I think that's really, really money. Now the bait comes with the frog hook style where you have like this piece of metal where you can actually put the hook on the belly side. You just open up the hook and then you clip it on there and then you're good to go. And then on top of the head, you have the same thing. So if you wanted to add like a Butch Brown style stinger hook on top, you can also do that. So sweet, sweet swimming swim bait. If you guys are into something that's different that you can fish a lot faster, the bait is kind of like a faster sink. All of the weight is up here in the head. So you guys can actually fish this down in some of those depths where a lot of guys are not throwing the soft bait. So, you guys are looking for something that you can burn that is still that paddle tail swim bait that will give you the swim of a mag draft. Check out the Dunkel and the Mega Dunkel by Jackal. And then the last one comes from actually a company that pretty much everybody knows and that's Mega Bass. Now, this particular bait, I haven't really seen anybody ever really talk about it, but it looks kinda cool. And that is the Eye Break by Mega Bass. Now, when you look at it online or in packages or in store, this is what it looks like in the package. It looks like kind of like a Lego set where you have to kind of put it all together. But I mean, I think that's kind of cool. So it kind of breaks down. You got the tail, you got the hooks, you got the actual bait, and then you have these fins. What these fins are supposed to do is, this bait is you pretty much just cast it out there and you just reel it in at a steady retrieve, nothing too slow, but you can fish it a little bit faster. But if you fish it too slow, it's not gonna really swim that well for you. Now, the swim is pretty much, it's like a hard bait mag draft. It's got a little head wobble and then the tail in the back is kind of kicking pretty hard. So it's pretty much like a hard bait mag draft in my opinion. So the bait is a, a slow floating swim bait, but I think what Ben, when he has fished it, he put those Zapu weight boards on the belly and the chin of it. So this one's actually kind of like a very slow sinking swim bait. And I honestly like the look of that. Now. When it comes down to these fins, what these fins are advertised is, is like kind of a stopping motion. So when the bait's going and you stop it, these fins are supposed to push the water back and keep that bait right there. Instead of the bait going and then kind of falling down, it's supposed to just stop. 
and then sink or or float back up so that's kind of the whole lore around those fins there it definitely gives it a pretty cool look though overall on the bait it's definitely a unique it pretty much combines hard baits and a soft bait all in one and you get a very unique style swim bait there's no gliding this bait you really just cast it out there and wind it in so that is the mega bass the eye break it's a really cool looking swim bait it's a smaller profile but it gives off that hard bait kind of vibe so check it out all right guys so which of these japanese swim baits did you like the best honestly the one that surprised me probably the most was the gorgon i mean as unique of a swim bait as it is and it kind of looks gimmicky the actual swim of this bait definitely surprised me and i think that if you guys know about the ballum but you can't really afford a ballum and you want something that's a little bit smaller this is probably the one to go with i mean it swims pretty much just like a ballum it comes in smaller sizes both the small guy and the big guy swim really really well so check those out the gorgons are probably my favorite out of this bunch but let me know which one you guys like which one you guys might try in the future down in the comments below I will leave links to these baits down in the description below as well. As always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be uploading as much as we possibly can. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.